Hello. <laughs> Hi YouTube, it's Trevor here, somewhere or nothing, back in the garden, which can mean only one thing, tent review. Now I'm very excited about this tent. It's a tent that I've been waiting for, I've wanted to try for a, a huge amount of time. So I finally um, purchased myself one. You know I'm a fan of the nature hike tents, especially the cloud up two has been my sort of go-to tent uh, but I always wanted to try the Cloud Peak 2 again another two-man tent but it's looked a bit more substantial it has a cross member uh, pole system which looked a bit more sort of stable in the wind so finally yeah I've gone out I've got one the Cloud Peak 2 now it's considerably heavier than the Cloud Up I think this weighs about two and a half kilograms whereas the cloud up to I think is like 1.7 so yeah it's a quite a lot of additional weight but I've always wanted one finally finally got around to getting one so yeah let's have a look if you're new to Summit or Nothing then please make sure you subscribe it's a great place for gear reviews wild camping adventures, hikes, and also you can join us on Patreon if you want additional footage, chances to win some amazing gear, as well as loads of other benefits. Or if you'd like to just donate and buy us a coffee to go towards producing these videos, then uh, yeah, feel free, links below. The Nature Hike bags, as always, they open from the top, so it's, everything's tucked in like a tube rather than like the Van Gogh bags, that's what I love about them, they open at the side. So that's one of the sticking points with these, but with the Cloud Up 2, I've never had any trouble getting it into the bag. You can see the instructions of how to put it up are attached to the bag. Note that one Tigress instructions. So yeah, I'm hoping that this is gonna be quite straightforward. I know the Cloud Up 2 is a real straightforward tent to put up. The Cloud Peak 2 also comes with a, a an additional mat to go underneath just to protect the bottom from getting any holes a little extra insulation as well i suppose but i think it's more to do with rips and tears so right let's get in we've got poles we've got pegs now this i think is sort of the attachment goes over the cross members over the roof so we'll have a look at that in a bit but first things first take out the three tent poles and spread out the tent so we want to use the, the ground sheet ground sheet's got sort of like hooks on the corners this time the cloud up has like a strap with a metal hole where the poles go into so slightly different the inner and the outer all attached together so we can literally just pull it out where we want it then it's the poles you can see they're slightly bent there before we start Two and three. Step two, it's recommended that two people construct the tent together. Oh. On the corners, the poles go into these, and then you will go corner to corner, corner to corner, and then one across the middle. So I'll get one in there, one in there, one across here. So another benefit with the Cloud Peak is that it's a two door uh, tent. So there's a door on either side, which makes access a lot easier, especially if there is two men, but construction might be a little bit trickier. We'll have a try. I'm gonna go for this one first. That's in there. That's 
them here. Right, so they're in all the corners. Now we start clipping them up. So far, so good. And that's pulled it nice and tight around there. Now it didn't say anything about pegging down the ground sheet and that, but we could have done that beforehand, I think. So I might go and peg that out now. So in here we've got the uh, traditional stakes, nature hike stakes, lovely fetching purple this time, and then additional guy ropes. I see, and then the hooks. So there's the ground sheet hooks, and then on these here, you've got hooks as well, so we can connect it like that, yeah, like that. And then I'll go and do that for all four corners. All right, and now we peg, peg out the corners. Two. Four. And we can do the sides as well. Pulling it all real tight. And this one here. There's like six corners on the tent if you take out the poles where they are. And then there's some loops here which I assume for this, which goes over the vent. So let's have a look at that. So if you look at the top. There's a, a wider space here and here. So there's three wide areas, which will be one, two, and three there. So flip it over. Yep, so all those points attached to there and there, like so. That's all on and square. So there's room for air to move through there, but no water's going to get in there. That's good. No water's going to drive up there. So then these are the additional points for additional guys, which I might attach those guy ropes now because it's quite a mild day. I'm not up on the moors getting beaten about, so. It would be beneficial to stick them on now. Again, I am absolutely hopeless at knots. Hopefully this will be all right. Tie them in here. So I'm just going to tie this end in here, like so. Just doing this double sort of knot here, so it won't slip. And then I can save this end here to adjust when we tie it down. And then this end will be where the peg goes and we can sort of adjust that loop to suit. And then it, you pull it into these little plastic grooves, pull it tight there, and then when you pull it, it doesn't slip. Whether that's how you lot would do these or not, don't judge my knots. Okay, so I've tied all those on. There's six additional guy ropes and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six extra pegs, and then four more. Let's go on all these uh, faces. There's another loop here, so you can peg it down and keep the, separate the inner skin from the outer skin. So yeah, got enough pegs to do all that. So I'm quite happy with how that's gone. And that's all prepared, so once I'm up on the moors, it's all ready to go. So it looks huge, it's a good size. Looks nice and sturdy having those sort of geodesic poles and uh, plenty of places to peg out. Hopefully extreme winds it will hold up. We will give it a good test this winter. Let's have a closer look inside, shall we? Okay, so obviously there's a door either side. We'll just use the one for today. 
I do love the feel of the Nature Hike tent. It's a real thin but real waterproof uh, material. Like I say, it's 4000 D, I think. You can roll the door up, tuck it out the way here, over here. And then here, oh look at this. It's a three-way door design this time. So you can open the whole side up if you wanted, or just sort of one side for now. We just do the one side. It goes all the way up and around, like that. So I can tuck it here. And then, that is lovely. I'm sitting up. It's probably about the same amount of room as the cloud up too. Because the thing I had an issue with the Star River was that it was bigger uh, than the cloud up too. More headroom, but it seemed a lot colder, like it was hard, a harder space to heat up. Whereas this doesn't feel much different than the cloud up too. Um, I could probably pull it a bit tighter, it's a bit saggy on the floor. But there's plenty of room for a big roll mat, plus all my gear at the other side. And then also a massive vestibule here. So even if it was uh, gale force winds and rain, you could easily close that up and look at all this room here to put a little stove, do some cooking. So we got a big pocket here. You can put all some belongings so they're easy access through the night. You've got a hook up at the top here so you can hang a lantern. Another little pocket down here. You can keep some bits in. And it's much the same colours as the green nature hike tent I got. It's a fair lot of weight, additional weight to the cloud up, but it's probably a more substantial tent for going up into higher altitudes where you're going to be battled with more winds than the cloud up, even though the cloud up has done me, done me proud. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this one a test out. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. Okay, so now let's see how easy it is to pack away and fit back into its little bag. It's not gone as tidy as it came out, has it? <laughs> Quick, it's all opening up. Failing that, we just shove it all in. All the cords now, all out, getting tangled up. Okay, so that's in. Not as tidy as it was. But it went in fairly easy to be honest. Put the strap come off. <laughs> there you go. It's not as compact as it was, but I think a great little tent. So there's a link below to this tent and to the cloud up too as well. But yeah, well done Nature Hike, you've played another blinder, I think.